So you might not already know this, but the Valve Steam Deck, Valve's new handheld console, is going to be coming with a first party title when you receive it in your hands, or whatever that is. And we're going to take a look at it. It's called Death's Job, and I'm looking forward to looking at the trailer. It's going to be the first time I look at it with you, so we can experience it together. Um, but before we do, smash the like button down below. I'll give you a second, just to scroll down, give it a little click and then click the subscribe and click the bell icon if you love the Steam Deck and you want more Steam Deck content, which there will be a lot more of because I am in the Q1 first batch for Steam Decks and I hopefully I'll have my hands on it sooner rather than later. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell icon for more Steam Deck content. Um, so yeah, um, Valve is no stranger to putting out their own software alongside a hardware release. If you look back at the HTC Vive, um, and the Valve Index, they actually released uh, a little game called The Lab. It was like a little demo thing full of mini games for you to get the most out, get the most out of an experiment with virtual reality. Um, it came with a bunch of little mini games, experiences you could play with, um, and they literally developed this for the HTC Vive originally, and I think they went on to make other little demos and stuff for their own headset, the Valve Index. Um, I thought this was a great thing for newbies newcomers to VR when it first when the first VR heads that start coming out to give them a first taste of VR without really having to really think about it too much you know it was just a fun experience you could jump into and then obviously they went on to release their own game their own first party game Half-Life Alex, which still today is like one of the best VR games if not the best VR game released thus far in terms of being like a triple A first party game well it seems like the Steam Deck is going to get its own first party game demo game for you to experience and play with the steam deck and it's called the lab and we're going to take a look at it now now this um article comes courtesy of polygon again aperture desktop job is steam deck's first party touch that the xbox series x was missing listen xbox if you're listening to this guys if you release your own console at some point in the future again, at least throw some freebie stuff in. I mean, PlayStation did it with Astro's Playroom, right? PlayStation 5 came with Astro's Playroom, and it was the first taste of next-gen gaming that we got out of the PlayStation 5. The Xbox didn't really have anything, did it? Um, and it's that special touch that, that, that makes these hardware launches special. PlayStation does it. Steam does it now. Um, Xbox, come on what's going on so let's get into the the video it's the steam deck keeps looking better and better so this is a little look at the um the demo aperture desk job um it's based obviously i think in like the the half-life 2 portal universe um i went to bed last night thinking about what a new valve game built for the steam deck would look like that's almost entirely because i had just read game newell interview in edge magazine where they asked him about a valve about valve developing a first party game to show off the portable hardware and he said valve thought about it but decided to put its resources elsewhere like making dota and counter strike work better on the device so i was a little bit surprised this morning to see valve announced aperture desk job a free game tech demo thing set in the portal universe there's enough wiggle room here that i'm not worried about Noel's comments being misleading Valve refers to it as a short ra rather than a game for one but it's got me thinking about the value of having a custom first party release alongside the launch of new hardware go back a few decades and it was almost unthinkable not to have one there's no world which Nintendo 64 didn't launch with Super Mario 64 or Saturn with Virtua Fighter um, that started to change with PlayStation and move away from console mascots but most consoles still typically showed up with a custom launch game that helped you off the hardware and justify the purchase like I says Xbox is like one of the few companies that doesn't release its own little first party game alongside the new hardware launch to basically you know just play with and see what the Xbox is capable of so I'm glad Valve has went ahead and made this I know it's going to be short it's not going to be nothing amazing but let's take a look let's see what it's all about um I'm curious so let's go let's see shall we my name's Grady that is your inspection desk you are a product inspector You think your job is bad? Well, your job is bad. Available free March 1st, 20, you ready to? Yes. So there we go. It doesn't look like it's full of substance. It doesn't look like something, it doesn't, it's not blown me away. It just seems like it's gonna be a good opportunity to get used to the inputs, 
you know, experiment with the device that you're holding in your hand. They did the same thing, like I said, with the HTC Vive VR headset and obviously their own Valve Index headset. And it just gets, gets, helps you get to grips with all the inputs the Steam Deck has, how to interact, all the cool things you could do. Much like the PlayStation's Astro's Playroom, right, where it, it allowed you to get used to the new haptic feedback in the controller, learn about all the things it's capable of. It's very much the same for this um, Aperture's um, desk job game, whatever it's called. It's just going to be a little introdu introduction into the Steam Deck, and I'm, I'm excited to try it. It should come with the Steam Deck, so why not try it? It's free. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, are you happy that this is included? Maybe you don't have any Steam games at all, and this is going to be your only game. So if it is, good luck to you. Hopefully you enjoy it. And when you get your hands on your Steam Deck, let me know. Come back to this video. Come let me know what you thought of it. So anyways, guys, I'm Blaze2K. Okay. I'm going to be covering a lot of the Steam Deck coverage. I'm going to be talking about the Steam Deck coverage that comes out. I'm going to be giving you my opinion on it. We're going to be showing you my Steam Deck when I get it. I'm going to do an unboxing and all that good stuff. Um, and we're going to go on this journey together. So consider clicking subscribe, clicking that bell icon to be notified, and follow me over on Twitter. Um, link down below in the description. Um, and I'll see you there. Um, I'm super excited for this console, guys. You have no idea. Anyways, enjoy your weekend. Let's get hyped for the Steam Deck. Steam Deck gang, signing out.